What's up? What's up? What's up? This is B Roots with a video to pick you up. What do I mean a video to pick you up? Wow, when you look at coin marketplace you see nothing but a sea of red 362 billion dollars within the hour you see a little green going up but for the most part you look at that seven day man you're looking at 19 percent 20 percent some doing 30 losing 30 percent it's just, it's right now at a standstill market and it's predicted to go down all because of the Bitcoin whale flooding the market, getting rid of all this money. You've probably heard about that. The SEC is talking about clamping down on ICOs. And with all of that, you get a sea of red. But this video is not to cry and wonder where all your money is going to go. It's a video to pick you up and let you see what you can research now to invest in now so that later you don't even care about little dips like this because you'll be sitting on a beach somewhere with a couple million dollars. Doesn't that sound nice? So this video, as you can see from the title, it is the top 10 ICOs of all time. There is some mind-blowing numbers. So if you want to hit, if you want to hear about these top 10 ICOs, hit me up with a like spike, put those thumbs up, Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button so you are notified when I come out with another video. So let's get this started. This is going to be an awesome video. Can't wait. Can't wait. So top 10 ICO returns of all time. You don't need a million dollars to make a bunch of money. They always say the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. And the middle class just gets lower and lower and lower, closer to the lower class. But if you had $1,000, I want to show you what you could have now if you were in this game a few years ago. So as you see... All of these numbers are based off of $1,000 investments. So if you have $1,000 and you do some research and you have a great team and it's a great project and you get in early enough, these are the potentials you could be looking at. And if it's an ICO, this is what you could be getting at if you hold long term. Number 10, Veradesium. <laughs> Veritasium. So, oh, look that bad. So some of you guys might not even know what these coins are, are you know. So um, I'm going to let you know. Veritasium. Uh, basically, it eliminated the needs, well, eliminates the need for third parties when making finan financial transactions. So this is giving an example like stockbrokers and bankers. If the ICO price was $1.56. If you sold at the all-time high back in January, that dollar, that thousand dollars would have turned into two hundred and ninety-two thousand three hundred and seven dollars. Yes, that is a lot of money, and yes, that is number. That's only number ten. So let's go to the next one. Number nine, Storage X. What the hell is Storage X? Now called Storage, it's a platform that aims to become the ultimate cloud storage facility and the first one based on blockchain. 
So everything is going to be faster, cheaper, and more secure is what they proclaim. Their ICO price when they first started was 0 0.009 of a cent. So it wasn't even a full cent. If you sold back in January, that $1,000 would have turned into $337,777. Crazy. Number eight, Komodo. So Komodo depends on when you got in because it is a, there was a 25% minimum bonus. As I did some research, I couldn't find out exactly, you know, what the bonuses were in the beginning. But if you got in with the 25% bonus at three cents, your thousand dollars would have turned into five hundred thirty seven thousand and seventy nine dollars and komodo is basically 100 percent privacy transactions kind of similar to monero um so some of these coins like i said they're out there if you're looking for safe bets you can you can invest in it however just know those big gains have already been made next number seven lisk uh, we all heard of Lisk, but basically, if you've never heard of this and it's your first time, you're just wondering, get into the business. Lisk is practically, what's the best way? Uh, Lisk basically allows developers, uh, to create their own apps and run them on side chains in, in short. Um, when that came out, it was that seven cents on ICO, a thousand dollars back in January, if you sold at the high. You'd be looking at five hundred forty-eight thousand five hundred seventy-one dollars. Spectrecoin. What the hell is that? Never heard of Spectrecoin. Well, I had to do some research on this one, and this ICO was at point zero zero one of a cent. So this was way below one cent. But why would you only make $551,000? Well, first let me tell you what it is. Uh, it basically enables users to send and receive crypto worldwide with total anonymity. Underground team, and it was only sold to a handful of people. So what does that mean? That means this coin is full of a bunch of whales. Unless they sold it all off to other people, uh, there's a good chance that this coin is full of whales. This means that it's very, 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 very dangerous. And those people that have all those coins can spike the coin up and people can buy, 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 and together they can spike the coin down and, and take the proceeds. But there was an ICO at .001 and when it came out, it came out at one cent. So if you didn't, obviously you couldn't get into the ICO, but you could have bought in at one cent when it hit the exchange. And that coin, if you sold back in January, you would have made five hundred fifty-one thousand dollars. So this is kind of an off, an off, uh, kind of off topic when it comes to ICOs because you could never get into that ICO. However, you still could have made $551,000 after the ICO. Now, because it's dangerous and they act as whales, if you were to sell that coin today, that $551,000 that you could have made in January, today would be only worth $57,000. <laughs> only $57,000. That's still a lot of money, but you're, that's a big difference from almost over a half a mil. So if you're going to participate in something like this, keep it know you're following the whales and you better ride in back of them and not in front of them because you will get wrecked and splashed. Number five. Now we're going to start getting really, 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 really big money. Particle. <laughs> You've probably never heard of Particle. I guarantee you've never heard of Particle. It's basically a privacy coin for marketplaces. The best way to explain it, think of 
Amazon, eBay, Alibaba on steroids. What if no one ever knew you made purchases? No one ever knew you made you sold uh, stuff on them, and you basically remain an anonymous. That's what it is. At the time of the ICO, it was six cents. If you sold back in January, your thousand dollars would have turned into seven hundred and sixty six thousand six hundred and sixty six dollars. It's a good thing <laughs> that ain't a six because you ain't you looking at double devil. That, that would not be good. However, that's still money and that's still money in my pocket. So I'll still take it whether it's a six or a seven. <laughs> Number four, ARC. If you're trying to figure out what ARC is, it's basically a collaboration coin. It's a light and fast ecosystem designed to integrate with cryptos into uh, with cryptos into its blockchain. ARC was a big one. It was selling at one cent when it came out in ICO. If you were to buy it, if you were to sell it, excuse me, if you were to sell it back in January, one million dollars. One million and thirty-two thousand dollars is what Ark gets a lot of people. So you'll notice, and you know, as you get lower and lower and lower, there are huge support lines for these because people people lost money. And when I say lose money, you don't lose until you sell. But there was a big, big boom back in January, and if people sold. You know, they probably sold off to all the people coming into cryptocurrency. But there is some people that did not sell. And they're going to be your support line. They're going to hold it until it gets back there. And I guarantee you when it gets back there, they're going to sell it and make that money then. So just keep that in mind. Um, ARC, yeah, that's a big one. Over a million dollars. Just off of a $1,000. Number three is Stratus. Um... Stratus basically is a UK-based startup that offers businesses the ability to create, test, and deploy custom applications without the need to set up um, or maintain their own infrastructure. So, big businesses. This is this is a uh, coin for big businesses. One thousand dollars back when it first started, two million and forty-two thousand dollars. That is massive gains $1,000 that's what have gotten you so yes there is money to be made people money to be made don't worry about these little dips these dips will make you stronger to get to these type of goals to find that cryptocurrency that will get you $2 million it is out there Number two, the big boy, Ethereum. It is right now the second most valuable crypto, a program that automates the execution of a contract when the correct conditions are in place. All these ICOs that you see, Ethereum basically started it. Ethereum made it what it is. And it was only 31 cents when it first started an ICO. 31 cents. If you sold at its all time high of over $1,300 back in January off of $1,000, you would have made $4,441,935. That cannot be said anywhere in regular. Like unless you unless you invested in Google or Amazon back when they first started and no one knew who they were, yes, maybe, maybe you'd be looking at this. But not in two years. <laughs> you ain't making that off of a thousand dollars. No way. So what is number one? Can you guess? Do you know it? If you know it, go ahead and type it in the in the description right now. Do you own it? If you know it, do you own it? If you don't own it, do you plan on getting some? 
because I think it'll grow even higher. Just like I think Ethereum will grow even higher. And that number one is Ooh, here we go. Neo. Massive gains. <laughs> Neo was three cents when it first started. It was first called Ants Shares. Um, but it has changed it over. But basically, Neo is the first Chinese open source known as the Chinese Ethereum. Many says it's better than Ethereum and it's going to make its way and surpass Ethereum to be the number two cryptocurrency of all time. I like Neo. Um, I don't own any Neo, but I like Neo. I may start investing in Neo just because it's giving you dividends and gas, which is free free money. Who doesn't like free money? So I think I am going to start investing and putting some money in Neo, especially while it's on its dip. Um, it's on a huge dip right now. I think it's like eighty eight dollars last time I checked. Um, so that's that's pretty that's pretty good. But there you guys have it. I mean, it, it, that is it. Just remember when you're researching for these coins, these are the four categories that you need. You need a great team. You need a great project. You need the hype, and it needs to be unique. It can't be, you know, number five, number six doing the same thing. So that's what you want to do when you invest in, in cryptocurrency and do your own research. Just don't follow what the top YouTubers are saying or what I'm saying. Do your research. That is the best way you can be happy with your investment. So. There it is. If you enjoyed that video, do me a favor and spike up that likes. Put those thumbs up, please, please, please. Let hook me up and hit the thumbs up button. There you have it, people. There you have it. Now, I am going to have a new coin that I'm going to invest some big money in tomorrow. I feel the market is not going to go up till tomorrow. Um, it's possible it might go up, but looking at this, you know, it's just it's just going it's just running sideways. There's no big gains, and the weekend tends to be the time where people, you know, take out their money and probably pop some bottles, go out to the club. You know how we do, so. I think the market is going to drip, dip down a little bit, but I'm going to buy a coin. And if you're not into it or you don't know it, you need to research it. And I'm pretty sure there's a couple people that saw me in their telegram and, you know, they recognized me asking questions and said, Beaver, is this the real B Roots? And I was like, yes, I am. I'm just asking questions because I'm really thinking about getting into this coin. So I'm going to put some good money into it because. From the get-go, from the likes of it, it's going to be huge. And if you add me on Twitter at IMBRoots, it is right there, I IMBRoots, I am going to announce what that coin is. Um, so I think it's got very, very good potential. I'm putting a good amount of money in it. I'm just waiting for the right dip, which I feel tomorrow is going to be that time. Um, so just go ahead, add me on Twitter, and um, get that new coin. Um, next thing I also wanted to talk about, go back to my website, is taxes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, whoever you are, if you are in America you are going to have to pay taxes this time next year on all your gains that you do. You better be keeping track of those taxes and those gains. I've got a video on my website. It's called Cryptocurrency Taxes, How to Keep Track of Your Cryptocurrency Taxes. Um, you watch that video and you can get right here. You know, you can you can get my B-Roots Cryptocurrency Tax Spreadsheet. Um, it basically explains you everything. Give, I give you some of the, the tax tips, 
Um, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a tax advisor, but this 100% does help you out. I've had hundreds of people already purchase it, and I've had hundreds of people already happy about it. So if you're within the first 500, there's a pretty good discount that I give you off this $25. So make sure you watch this video and check it out. You can go on imbroots.com backslash taxes to check that out. Also, as you see from the beginning of my video, I've got new music coming out. It is a cryptocurrency related song. It's pretty freaking awesome. I'm getting everything lined up to send it out. So if you are into EDM music, check out my page on IMB Roots. I'm on SoundCloud. I'm on Spotify, iTunes, you name it. I'm on there. So check out my music if you're into EDM music. I don't care if you're not into EDM music. You're going to like my new song because it's related to cryptocurrency or you wouldn't be watching this video. So last time, please spike up the likes. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell on your top right hand corner so you know when I'm coming out with a new video and I want to thank every single one of you guys thank you thank you thank you once again be sure to add me on Twitter so we all can get behind this coin because it's awesome I'm telling you I told people on my Twitter I think I found the next ripple like coin check it out add me on Twitter and with that I say this is B Roots signing out. Thank you for watching.